Maxime Vacher Lagrave finished the Gibraltar Masters with seven and a half points. He had a great win in the last round, but not good enough to make it to the playoffs. He joins us in our studio. Maxime, a win in the last round. It's been an up and down tournament for you, games wise, but a good finish. Uh, definitely a good finish. Uh, winning my last two games, of course, I got a bit lucky that I got two whites uh, in a row. And um, but today the game was. Um, I was pressing in general, but I felt like it should be a draw uh, on best play. And um, yeah, I think uh, Para missed some chances to make a draw. You got an extra pawn quite early on, but he always had a bit of play for that? Um, more, I mean, it's not really play. The idea is that he gets a really good blockade. And um, he will get some counter play one way or another, and I think he should have got it here. So, like, he could have played b6. Rook c8, rook c8. Sacrifice another pawn. Sacrifice another pawn, but it doesn't matter. So, like, you go rook c1. And somehow, I think you, you have enough counterplay. Whenever I take b6, you take a2. You put my king to h2, or you, then you go rook a3. You attack the bishop on d3 and e3, and I think it's a draw. There was another way. Rook takes e5, pawn takes, and knight e4. But this is much more dangerous. Yes, to look at. Yeah. Yeah, but it seems like it's going to be a draw. So, for instance, I had this idea of playing rook a5. And if he goes king d5, no c6. Oh, you want to go b6 after? Very dangerous, yeah. Oh, nice. Yeah. Um, but simply rook c8, rook a7, rook c5. You get the b pawn, he gets the a pawn. If yeah, no, I could, I could play a4, but it won't change uh, the situation. So right. this should be a draw. And then after that, did you did he have any other chances after he missed this, or did the position get very um, passive? I mean, actually, I think I was not really precise because uh, around here, maybe I should have gone bishop c2 to prevent him from regrouping the way he did, and maybe just it at d5. But um, overall, uh, I think it was just winning and. Uh, there were a few scary moments. The game lasted 100 moves or so. <laughs> yes. Yeah, but uh, yeah, it doesn't show here, but it lasted for a while. So Long game, but you did what was required. You won it, but it was not good enough to make it to the playoffs. A little bittersweet? Um, well, I've been so lucky in this tournament uh, that, you know, uh, of course, I would have liked to make it to the playoffs, but... Uh, I didn't really deserve it, so you know it is not. It, it is a good result, of course. Um, you know, with a little bit, uh, even more luck, I would have made it to the playoffs. Um, but that's okay. So like, uh, I will just have fun watching them. You will have fun, as will we now. Out of the four players who are playing the playoff, who who would you be rooting for, or who do you think has had? Quality-wise, the best tournament so far? Oh, it's hard to say. Um, I think Huang Gao and uh, Yesipenko had the best tournaments. Yes. And, uh, but, you know, playoffs, you never know what to expect. And, of course, I mean, for instance, for Yesipenko, I mean, at the one yesterday, of course, we wouldn't be talking about playoffs, probably. And um, he definitely should have won. So, you know, um, it's up to him not to show mental trends because uh, of course he's very young but uh, if he wants to become a top player and uh, I mean quality wise he could become easily uh, he has to show uh, to show this kind of strength so you know maybe it would be nice to to see him win but of course I mean I, I'm not gonna be like ex rooting for him <laughs> I don't have a preference but uh, um, it would be nice for him at least to, to make a statement if, if he manages. I think a statement he's already made at the Masters. Uh, you have been a part of many playoffs here, uh, tying for first. What is, what's the most important thing going into these uh, tie breaks? Uh, the most important thing, of course, is to uh, forget about first your, your game. Because um, once I played a really wild game against Vichugov and then I had to go to the playoffs after a really wild draw where I was winning. And, uh, you know, I couldn't recover from, mm -hmm. um, from that game. So 
uh, it was, um, I mean, there was very little time and it was very difficult to, to switch my mind to the tiebreak. So it is a bit different when you have the playoffs on the same day than the last game. And uh, otherwise, I mean, you need to be fresh and, I mean, as fresh as, as possible. Fresh as possible. Yeah, considering it's been a long tournament for everyone. So. Yes. Um, had fun overall in Gibraltar? Of course, as always. <laughs> as always, we love that. Well, thank you so much. And we wish you all the best for all your tournaments in this coming year. Thank you, Tanya.